need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Within Microsoft Project, you have many different views of the project data available for you to use. Remember that the default view of a project file is called the Gantt chart view of the project. This view displays the tasks associated with the currently displayed project in an entry table that appears at the left side of the view. The duration and relationships between these tasks is then shown in the time scale bar chart at the right side. The Gantt chart view is a fairly common and comprehensive way of viewing tasks within a project, and so it is the default view shown within Microsoft Project. Most views that are provided simply focus on showing task details or resource usage details. Next you will learn how to switch between the different views of a project file and what you can generally expect to see within the views that are available. You can change the view of the currently displayed project file by clicking the task tab in the ribbon. You can change the view shown by clicking the drop down arrow on the leftmost button within the view button group. When you click the drop down arrow you will see a listing of all of the possible task views. Simply click on the name of the task view that you wish to use to apply it to your project file. Note that you can see and apply all of the views that are available, including any custom views that you have created, by instead choosing the More Views command from the button's drop-down listing to open the More Views dialog box. Within this dialog box, you can click the name of the view that you wish to apply from the scrollable listing shown. You can then click the Apply button within the More Views dialog box to apply the selected view to the currently displayed project. Also note that many of the views, including the default Gantt chart view, include a split between the two panes that appear. You can adjust the placement of this split line by simply clicking and dragging the split line itself to adjust its placement. In addition, for any view that displays a split screen, such as the Gantt chart view or the task usage view, you can click into the task table that's shown within the view and change which table of data is shown. By default, the table shown is the entry table. You can change which table is shown by first clicking into the table part of the view that is displayed on screen. You can then click the View tab in the ribbon. Then click the Tables drop-down button within the Data button group. You can then click on the name of the type of table data that you would like to see within the table view from the drop-down listing of table types that appears. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.